Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Fosdick and I'm a postdoctoral research assistant at Manaki Whenua Landcare Research in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Today I'll be presenting work demonstrating the ways in which recent genomic sequencing developments have facilitated genome assembly for species with larger genomes in Aotearoa, New Zealand. To provide some context, genomics in Aotearoa may look a little bit different than in other parts of the world. We have a very high proportion of threatened endemic species, many of which are culturally significant. And this means that much of the focus of biodiversity genomic research is on conservation applications, and it also must consider indigenous data sovereignty concerns. You can find out more about this research landscape in our recent report, shown here with this URL. Today, I'll share work on two projects I'm currently involved with, where we're working to assemble high quality reference genomes for culturally significant species of conservation concern. The first of these focuses on wetapunga, a large insect in the order Orthoptera, along with crickets, locusts, and grasshoppers. They're not called giant for nothing. They can grow to around seven centimeters or three inches long, and they can weigh up to around 35 grams, which is about the same as a house sparrow. This species has been negatively impacted by introduced mammalian predators, habitat modification and loss following human arrival, and they've become restricted to a predator-free offshore island, Hoturu Otoi, Little Barrier Island, indicated by the yellow arrow. To support species conservation and evolutionary genomic research, we've been sequencing and assembling a reference genome for Wetapunga. In addition to being large insects, we entered this project with the expectation that they may have a large genome. So for other species in the same order, they've been found to have genomes as large as 18 gigabases. And our preliminary estimates from flow cytometry indicated the genome could be as large as 10 gigabases. Subsequent camera analysis using short read high seq data narrowed this down to closer to six or seven gigabases, but it's still pretty large. Genome sequencing began with the newly available PacBio SQL data to form a base assembly. We also had very high coverage Illumina sequence data produced, which was to be used for read correction and assembly polishing down the track. And we'd also produced a high C library to support scaffolding, although unfortunately this library was of poorer quality than we hoped with lower coverage. Initial assembly work was led by Manpreet Dami, part of our team, using the red bean assembler. And despite all this sequencing effort, the draft genome turned out to be much smaller than expected at only around 4.6 gigabases. It was also quite fragmented and incomplete as indicated by the relatively large number of contigs and the relatively low Busco score. But during this time, PacBio hi-fi sequencing data had become available. And so when we went back to the drawing board, we found that this was going to prove a real game changer. So we went back and did a lot of sequencing with HiFi and then moved into assembling the genome. And this time we used the program HiFi ASM, which incorporated both the HiFi data and the small amount of HiC data that we had. And you can see in the version two for the genomes metrics, uh, you'll see that the contiguity and completeness are greatly improved. While we're still working on this assembly, some preliminary results from purging duplicates and the scaffolding indicate that a substantial proportion of the genome is likely repetitive sequence, and this may be creating some challenges in the assembly process. So our next steps are to continue by producing a new high c library with much greater coverage and more complexity to try and uh, bridge those gaps. We've got the potential to try other assembly softwares, although this has been somewhat limited by the large amount of compute resource required. We can also try out error correction of the original PacBio data to try and use that in combination with this base assembly we've built up. And we're going to eventually get onto annotation down the track. 
But all of this has been a great learning opportunity and our experience with this large genome assembly has greatly informed the second project that I'll share. And this is around Pepeketua, Hoxteder's frog. This is one of four extant frogs endemic to Aotearoa and it's part of an ancient lineage, which is sister to all extant neurons. They're biologically and genomically unusual. So we know that frog genomes can be highly variable in size, and this species was indicated as having a large genome in the ra range of eight to 10 gigabases. Research by David Green in the 1980s indicated many interesting genomic features, including the presence of quite a number of accessory chromosomes that varied in number between populations. And he even discovered an autotriploid female. So these could be a really interesting species to dig into. From our learnings with the Wetapunga genome, we decided immediately to opt for PacBio HiFi sequencing. And our initial KMA estimation indicated the genome was going to be around 8 to 8.5 gigabases. This was assemb assembled with HiFi ASM again. And this is some preliminary results so far. You can see that it's relatively close to the expected size and it's relatively complete considering how early in the process we are. I'm just about ready to prepare the high seed library for sequencing and this will help scaffolding down the track. We'll then continue with manual curation and annotation in the future. And we're especially looking forward to continuing with population genomic research into these unusual frogs. So lastly, I'd like to thank the iwi or tribes associated with these species, particularly Ngāti Manuhiri and Ngāti Poro, along with Aotearoa New Zealand's Department of Conservation Weta Recovery Group and Frog Recovery Group, along with all of the other researchers who have helped with lab work and bioinformatics and provided advice along the way. Thank you.